Hello, my name's Gillian and I'm one of the Education Outreach Officers at Newcastle University Library. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a classic children's storybook we have in our special collections, and then we'll do some craft activities based on the story. It's a book I'm sure you'll all have heard of and many of you will have read. If not, perhaps you've seen the film. It's a book called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was written by Lewis Carroll in 1865. It's a story of a young girl called Alice who's feeling very bored. That is, until she follows a white rabbit down a rabbit hole and finds herself in a strange world called Wonderland, where she meets lots of strange creatures, such as this caterpillar here, and has lots and lots of adventures. This is the front cover of an illustrated edition of the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland that we have in our special collections. The book was published in 1922 and as you can see from the cover, the book was illustrated by a lady called Gwynedd M. Hudson. This illustration shows a very well-known scene from the story. It's the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Look carefully at the illustration. What can you see? I'm going to read you a few sentences from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland now. As you listen, look carefully at the illustration. Can you see all of the things that are being described? There was a table set out under a tree in front of the house and the March Hare and the Hatter were having tea at it. A Dormouse was sitting between them fast asleep and the other two were resting their elbows on it and talking over its head. Very uncomfortable for the Dormouse, thought Alice. Only as it's asleep, I suppose it doesn't mind. The table was a large one, but the three were all crowded together at one corner of it. No room, no room, they cried when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room, said Alice indignantly, and she sat down in a large armchair at one end of the table. Can you see a table set out under a tree? The March Hare, the Hatter, the Dormouse fast asleep, the March Hare and the Hatter resting their elbows on the Dormouse and talking over its head. Now for the fun bit. Today we're going to plan our very own Mad Hatter's Tea Party. In order to do this, you'll need the following items. Paper, coloured pencils and or felt tip pens, scissors, string or ribbon, a hole punch and printouts of the invitation, bunting and menu templates provided on our website. If you haven't got these things to hand, pause the video and get them now. Invitations are the first thing you'll need if you're going to host your own Mad Hatter's Tea Party. This black and white illustration comes from a later edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in our special collections. This edition was published in 1955 and was illustrated by Sir John Tenniel. It shows a fish footman delivering a croquet invitation from the Queen of Hearts to the Duchess's frog footman, which he then delivers to the Duchess. Croquet is a game you play on a lawn. It involves using mallets to knock wooden balls through a series of square shaped hoops. Have you ever played croquet? To make your own invitations, there are a few things you need to think about. First of all, what do you want them to look like? Do you want your invitations to be a particular shape? For example, a teacup like mine, or a white rabbit, perhaps a top hat. Next, what information will you need to include? It's important to make sure that you say who's invited, the date, time and place of the party, and if they need to reply to anyone to say that they're coming. Why not pause the video now and have a go at making your own invitations? If you like, you can print off and use the templates provided. Welcome back. Now that we've made our invitations, what else do we need for our party? 
how about some party decorations? You could make some bunting to hang up in the room or garden where your party's taking place, just like I have. Perhaps you can make some table confetti to scatter over the party table. Or how about some place name cards so your guests know where to sit? Why not pause the video again and have a go at making some of these things? Like before, you can either make your own or print off and use the templates provided. Hello again. Now we've got your invitations and party decorations, it's time to plan your menu. What food and drinks are you going to have at your party? There are all sorts of great suggestions for Alice in Wonderland themed party food and drinks on the internet. Why not take a look at the web links provided to get some ideas? When you've decided what you're going to serve, it's a good idea to make a menu. There's an example one that I've made on the screen. Why don't you make your own? If you wish, you can download a menu template from our website. So, we've got our invitations, our decorations, and we've planned our menu. But no party's complete without party games. At the Mad Hatter's tea party, the Hatter asks Alice riddles, but she doesn't know the answer to them. Do you like riddles? If so, can you come up with some riddles for your guests to solve? If not, there are loads of other great party games you can play. I'm sure you've got your favourites, but if you want some Alice themed ideas, why not have a look at the web links provided? Invitations. Tick. Decorations. Tick. Food and drinks. Tick. Party games. Tick. So now you've got everything you need to host your very own Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So it's time to party. Go and have fun. And remember, don't be late.